If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about my April favorites, so basically a bunch of beauty products that I have been enjoying and would recommend you check out. For the last couple of months, I was trying to figure out what was breaking me out on my shoulders. I tried to simplify my skincare routine, my hair care routine. I was literally only using shampoo, which was not really working well for me, but I figured out that it was my detergent. So once that was out of the picture, I've been able to have more fun with products. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been able to test out this new range by Garnier. This is their whole blends, castor oil remedy and maple sap, which as a Canadian maple sap, I kind of have to approve right there. <laughs> but castor oil is a really well-known ingredient to make your hair grow stronger and thicker. A lot of people actually use it directly on their brows and lashes to make them grow more. My hair technically doesn't really need more length at this point. It's been actually a while since I had a haircut. I'm definitely overdue. But because I wasn't able to use a ton of hydrating products, it's been a lifesaver. It was starting to to look kind of brittle and you can see that it looks so much shinier and healthier now and my hair is definitely very tricky it's on the oily side yet it still needs quite a bit of moisture because of the length so I feel like this has been a really great balance between giving me that moisture without weighing it down because so many products tend to just make it look kind of gross after a day or two but I'm able to actually just wash my hair every three days which is really good for me and my hair has just been really looking good and I'm very very happy with the results also I swear as a kid I had a doll that smelled exactly like this so for me at this point this is basically perfume so if you're looking for a new affordable range of hair products I would definitely recommend checking out this new one by Garnier. Speaking of hair products that really work for me, I need to talk about this new hair curler. I have been using the same really, really old discontinued Yumi one that I've had for like eight years and it died on me. So I have been trying desperately to find something to replace it, failing completely. I had to return a few because every time they would do nothing for me. I got one from Amazon and it was so bad. I will link it. <laughs> it's going to be like a missed part of this favorites video. And it was one of those with the clamp and I would curl my hair with it let it go after like 20 seconds, my hair would be pinned straight and then I would have that line from the pinning thingy. I hated it. Like it does that so often for me. I don't know why either hair curler work really well or they just don't do anything for me. So it's been a challenge, but I have found this one once again on Amazon. I'll just link it down below. It's LA hot. I don't know, uh, but I use the biggest one that it comes with and it's just perfect. As you can see, it just gives me those like soft waves which is exactly what I am going for. With my hair being so long, it's very hard for it to keep the curl because it's quite heavy, right? But uh, this lasts all day on me and it doesn't do funky things. And because it's just, you know, the roll thingy, there's no bar on it. It's very easy to get that nice look that doesn't end with that line once again. So if you were looking for a new hair curler, this was super affordable. I think it was about like 30, $40. And um, it comes with like five different uh, one that you can easily replace you just press here and you know so eventually when I decide to grow out my bangs I will be able to have like curly bangs to like <laughs> make it look okay when it's like in between a different length so yes definitely another favorites of mine let's go to what I'm wearing on my lips because I will for sure get that question I have been adoring this new red lipstick range by L'Oreal those are the uh, Rouge Signature lip stains, I think. They, I don't know why, every time I'm like, why is the name not on them? Uh, they came out with eight new shades and they're all reds. Obviously the one I'm wearing right now is more like light coral really, but it is absolutely stunning. This is end of the day. It's still there, it's very comfortable. I did apply it as a stain this morning, which is kind of what I like to do with them because they are quite bright, most of them, uh, but it's very easy to shear them out and just wear them very low maintenance all day long like this. They're very comfortable. They remind me of the, um, I've been saying, like the Lancome uh, Juicy Shaker. <laughs> The applicator is literally the best thing ever. It's very, very soft. It goes on very liquidy uh, and kind of moisturizing and then it kind of becomes this stain, which actually... <laughs> I feel like every time I'm like looking and I'm like, oh, no. Nope. <laughs> so really fantastic. So uh, the color that I'm wearing right now, like I said, is adored and you can wear it full intensity like this or, you know, just apply a little bit and it becomes really your lips, which is fantastic. And my other favorite one is the one that when I did the lip swatch video, which I will link, uh, this is the one I did the wear test portion with and it is the color red, which every time I'm shocked because in the tube it kind of looks like a warm red, but when I swatch it and when I wear it, it's a bit more pinkier, which I think is very flattering. It makes your teeth look 
quite white. So these two have just been favorites. I do wear Invisalign, I'm not wearing them right now because it's so much easier to pronounce things on camera when I'm not wearing them. But uh, it's been really tricky for me to wear anything on my lips, which is a shame because I love lipsticks as we know. And uh, I can't wear anything that will transfer all over them and stain them. So these have been like a lifesaver. I've been really, really enjoying them. Definitely recommend them. Once again, I will link the lip swatch video. Uh, another line that is super similar, but they have different colors. So if you're interested, this is by 3CE. This is their Cloud Lip Tint. And they have 10 different shades, which again, I just did a lip swatch video. So I will link it if you are interested. Kind of the same thing. Uh, it goes on a tiny bit thicker. It's closer. Like I've, I've been calling it like the high-end version of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, but like it lasts longer. Like basically what I wished the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream would have been. So they last really long, they're very comfortable, they're not drying, and they have a really nice range of color. I highly recommend them, especially if you have a warm undertone because they have quite a few uh, nude-ish. <laughs> like they're supposed to be my lips, but better, but obviously this type of color is not really a nude. I feel like even the brighter shade though, they're like wearable brights. You know, they're not like super intimidating. And this color is the color Pinkalicious and it's definitely one of my favorites. And I just recommend the whole range once again. I'll link the video because I do also a wear test after swatching all the shades. So highly recommend these. They're definitely some of my favorites. And obviously 3C is one of my favorite Korean brands, period. Which actually I'm realizing. 3C, I adore this brand. I'm always raving about them. And this is their 3C face blush in the color hashtag rose beige, which is definitely not beige. It's definitely a light peach. They keep bringing out more shades in like separate collections, but I believe this is part of just the normal range and it's just such a nice matte light peach. I'm wearing it on my cheeks, which on camera I feel like I look like I'm never wearing any blush even though I'm wearing a ton in person. But look how natural this looks. It's just so perfect. It's not weight based whatsoever. It lasts all day. They blend like amazingly. And this is definitely my favorite color of the whole range. Definitely would recommend checking it out if you are on the hunt for a really nice everyday blush, especially for spring, summer. This is going to be absolutely perfect. You get a ton of product too, which for some reason it's not on there. I think you get like something like 10 grams. So I will never run out of this. I've been wearing this every single day and it looks barely used. So thumbs up for sure. A lot of products in this video are products that I've been using for months. I haven't done a monthly favorite in like forever, it feels like. So I have been going back to this foundation and oh, it's so good by Maybelline. This is their Super State full coverage foundation. I'm currently wearing the shade 112 Natural Ivory. This is my like spring shade. It's not totally summer, it's not totally winter and it just matches me really well right now. Again, I'm wearing it. Uh, this foundation oxidizes a lot, but you need to apply like a very thin layer to get the full coverage. So it's really not a big deal. I'm gonna swatch it so I can show you how bad it gets. I have done a wear test of this one, so I can link that down below too if you want to see it compared to the other new uh, Maybelline foundation, which the name is Escaping Me, the like hydrating one. But I feel like at this point, everyone knows this foundation. It's really full coverage, yet you can apply a tiny amount, which is what I usually do and kind of wear it like a BB cream. I mix it a little bit with my moisturizer. Usually I just apply my moisturizer, don't wait for it to fully dry and then apply this. And it just applies a thin layer. It still gives you like medium to full coverage. It looks really nice very natural all day long and it's just awesome. I feel like there's a reason everyone raves about it, right? And I'm just left wondering why I ever stopped using it, which also by Maybelline, this Age Rewind Concealer, I have been loving these all over again. I'm almost done with this one. This is the same color. For some reason, I have two that are open, so I will finish this one once this one is over. Uh, this is the color Fair, which is not that light, seriously. This is the one I'm wearing right now and you can see it's definitely not that light. I adore this. In my head, this was like a light coverage, everyday type of concealer, but it's definitely more medium coverage. I'm wearing it today. And I feel like sometimes on camera, like the more full coverage you wear, the better it looks, but in real life it can be a bit much. But this is perfect on camera in real life and it just looks very natural. It's not too thick under my eyes. My under eyes were definitely super dehydrated from, you know, surviving the winter. And this doesn't look creepy underneath. And it's just been back in my life. And I don't understand again, why did I stop using this? This is fantastic. Stila, currently there's still the uh, Sephora VIB sale going on for most people, I believe. I will link that down below if you are interested. But if you're looking for the best eyeliner ever, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. However, I feel like nobody else mentions it, but the micro tip one is the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> if you have mono lids or you don't have a lot of lid space, you need to get this because it is so thin. 
yet you get the same amazing formula that is waterproof, super dark uh, black color. I don't have that much space on my lid, especially in the inner corner, and it's very easy for me to apply eyeliner there and then it becomes, you know, kind of just messy everywhere. Not with this, it's fantastic. I can get a very sharp, actually. There you go. I can get a very sharp line, but it's super easy to get this precise part too. And this is it. This is all I use. You get this tiny, 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 tiny point, and this is what it looks like. Like, look how amazing that is. Lasts all day, it doesn't uh, disappear on me. So many eyeliners, for some reason, after a few hours, the line is just gone for no reason. Nothing happened, it just disappeared. So I feel like I'm always getting questions about what I'm using as an eyeliner. If you're seeing me wearing one, 99% of the time it's this one. I just can't live without it. I do have a backup because mine is like almost done. I've been using this for over a year, like pretty much every single day. So you know, it's good stuff. It's obviously a bit more pricey because it is a Sephora, but absolutely worth it. I just, I don't even buy the bigger one anymore. I just use this one. It's just awesome. I feel like this highlighter is very underrated and I adore it. This is by Cover FX. This is their Moonlight Highlighter. And this is such a nice light gold highlighter. I feel like a lot of gold highlighters end up looking really yellow on me and just have too much pigment basically. This is perfect. And it's one of those very, it's so hard to show. Actually, I should just apply it, period. I'm wearing a tiny bit of something else, but it's so intense. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? It's not metallic, which I feel like we've been through a huge wave of really intense highlighters, which is starting to calm down, I feel like. And this has been like perfect for me because it is still intense, but there's no sh shimmer, no glitter, no metallic finish. It's just very, very glowy and natural. So even in the sun, I don't feel like I look like I'm wearing too much on my cheeks and it's just been amazing. And obviously with spring, summer, I will start applying even more and I will probably be ba bathing, <laughs> bathing in this. I'll definitely be using it like on my shoulders and body too. So if you're looking for a really, really fantastic, perfect everyday, but even to go out highlighter, the cover effects range is really, really nice. In my last empties video, I mentioned how a few brands really hate me. <laughs> or it feels like, because they keep discontinuing or reformulating my favorite products. And one of them was the Dr. Jarder Ceramidin range. Their sheet mask used to be like the only ones I was raving about all the time. And obviously they reformulated it. So I've been trying to figure out other things to use. So the best sheet mask I have since found to replace it is this one. Uh, this is the Spot Saver Mugward Gauze Mask. It isn't as moisturizing as the Dr. Jar one. This is definitely more targeted towards people that are dehydrated and or have acne prone skin because it really, really calms down my skin. I have been having like reactive skin, I feel like the last couple of months, which again, the detergent probably didn't help. But <laughs> when I use this, I wake up and my skin is so much more even, no more redness, no more pimple. So I feel like I need to use this every single day. Actually, I am looking to get slash I have I have ordered, but I'm waiting for it, the serum, because if this works, I will be able to, you know, skip the sheet mask and just use the serum. But uh, I'm very curious to test the whole range now because it really, really works well for my skin. It's just loving it. So yes, more even, no more redness, no more pimple every time I use this. So I feel like I need this in my life, absolutely. And I'm kind of sad that it's taking forever because of the shipping problems right now. So I don't have any right now. This box is empty and I'm like, ah, I really want you in my life right now. So yes, if you were looking for a new sheet mask, or a new range to try for acne prone skin, especially dehydrated and just want a little help. This has been working so well for me. Oh, and by the way, you can see that the foundation has definitely started becoming darker and darker right now. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you are shopping for a shade. So that's gonna be it for my April favorites. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. Please let me know in the comment section your favorites of the month, anything I should check out, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.